it's about to be another one of those situations where i'm just sitting there shaking my head when these two characters could just talk it out ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel my name is jack the buster i shinobi we have episodes 170 and 171 of our one piece watch today and it's all out war in the upper yard the shandians our crew the priests the holy warriors underneath anaru it's everybody here man luffy has wandered into wiper who i mean i guess instead of talking it out they're just gonna fight wiper just seeing him as more of a nuisance i think which i i kind of get it but again just talk guys we're gonna hop right into it if you're new to the channel drop a sub and hit that big blood bell so you don't miss any future episodes and let's get started continue singing <laughs> you can also like talk about it the stick is down oh yeah here's chopper running from by various creatures those look like ruins oh my gosh i actually did make it it looks like no gold to be seen though from the usual distance what else are you gonna do do you have that what a random flashback bro whiskey peak that's not pierre is that shuru's bird no it's like a uh what's it called a vulture it looks like a vulture damn bro birds on the menu still needs work it looks pretty damn good a flying slash oh i feel like it's total it's it's teasing us like that's what he's, he, he's he's gonna be looking to use that's the angle he's being chased by divine soldiers how unlucky are you chopper somebody save my boy oh there's shandians oh he is just in the middle of a firefight now this is gonna be raw I like the cannons that the Shandians use. They're very cool. And the musket type guns too. They're all using dials, like impact dials. I'd assume if you're able to make them or however they come about, once you can mass produce them, it's probably the best bet. If there is gold, wouldn't Enaru have already taken it for himself? Do you think she just wandered in here? Yeah, tell him! Tell him! Me. Oh, so he knows she's a blue sea person. Oh yeah, they use axe dials, not just impact. You've already lost. Twist? Like his neck? Damn! Rama take no victims. How many have died already? Oh my god. <laughs> the thing is, the Shandians and our crew could work together so well. Because he's been told to fight. Wiper's just, again, too aggressive about his strategy. He gave you a nice way out. Is it Robin that he's giving up against? Wait, no, it's a gun. Oh, it is a okay. Another Shandian. Oh, that's Brom. Brom's sick. They sound like lasers. Is he shooting flat? Like, what is he shooting? He kind of clean with it though. He had a divine soldier begging, bro. The sound effects are just ridiculous for his guns. Yeah, it flashes before it shoots, and like any, uh, like a regular person would, wouldn't even have time to anticipate it. So I don't I don't know. I guess it is for people powerful enough to see it coming. Guys, I yeah yeah, we're all just fighting the wrong people, bro. Just take out the, the, the divine soldiers and go find Nitaru and take him out. Again, I think it all stems from Wiper being like, yeah, everybody's your enemy, and it makes sense because he's been on this mission for so long, he's not meant to trust anyone, and why should he trust random pirates from the blue sea? But still. I like the air combat though. They're not just fighting on the ground. They're skating around and jumping through the air and doing front flips, back flips, everything. You don't want the smoke bomb. I'm sorry. I can only do so much to warn you. I mean, I'm not going to underestimate him, but still. I know it's air combat, but I think Zoro is more than capable. That's such a sick move though. So agile. So it flashes like a second or two seconds before he shoots. It is really smart. It also kind of gives his position away. Three sword style, baby! What? <laughs> I actually dodged Tiger Trap. <laughs> the little tip taps of him running. 
He's had enough. Yeah, he's kind of out of his element. Oh, he can make like a mobile path. Wait, that's sick. Kind of broken, but sick. Hmm. Not like fluid aerial combat. An Alaskan bullworm. <laughs> Sanji's got him thinking like that now. He knows Sanji can make anything taste good though. Hell, Sanji made like a, a stew in the middle of the forest with little to nothing. Oh, he's out. He's hiding. Damn, he is ma outmatched simply because of his, his endurance and his ability to jump around. Oh, he did get hit. What can you do? Blindfold yourself? Oh, he's got goggles that will hopefully reduce the flash. How do you know they won't? Have you tested it? Also, this man pulled these goggles out of out of his butt. It was a game. Of course he saw through the bluff. Of course, they don't look like sunglasses. Oh, well, at least he kind of gave his thought process. The glowing eyes. Oh. That makes sense. A little kind of harsh criticism, though. It was teasing him using it. I think he should still wear the goggles. Maybe it will reduce the flashing a little bit. Oh my god, I felt that one. Where are his ammo clips? What is this? I, oh, I'm guessing it's dials. Hmm. <laughs> huh? Damn, that's a pretty hard line. He's got another, um, another Milky Way dial. I really still like the concepts of dials, though. It's still the swords, but it's, it's like range. Single sword style. Damn! 36 pound phoenix and so specific. He knocked the guns out of his hands. Uh, Brom got too ego, man. He went right at him. That's exactly what Zora wanted. Oh my god. I expected Zora to win eventually, but I'm surprised he uh, Brom lost his cool like that and just dove right at him. 36. Kind of reminds me of uh of the the fights in Alabasta, Alabarna, when they all had their individual ones. They're like like close up on them at the last second. Okay, so they all have different dials. Like that that warrior was using like just straight up a fire beam of swords. Ooh. Oh no, is that Chopper? No, I hear the squeaks of his boots. Bro, didn't even call for Sanji. Oh, I guess because he's not part of their group. Will the doctor be waiting for me? His little stick dragging. Bro's a mess. He's in shambles. Chopper's in the trenches. Yeah, true. Oh, ruinish. <laughs> His little laugh. <laughs> wow. How interesting. Well, this forest has spawned. Is it gonna blow up? Oh, and then it blew up. Now Luffy's ready for smoke. What different kind of like ammunition he got? He sent one that he wants him to absorb, I think. Oh, maybe not. He just shot two more like, oh, these will these will do something. Is it a priest? Gunfall? Wait, what is happening? Surely it's a priest. Wait, lightning. Does one of the priests use lightning? Am I dumb? Donfall doesn't look very worried. Wait, is that Inaru? Oh my goodness. Bro, he actually came down? Oh, damn. I expected him sitting in his little palace the whole time. He just one shot Sanji. He just wanted to talk to Gonfall, probably. So they haven't even seen each other in the six years that he hasn't been gone? They've been doing the shadows on Inaru's face a little differently, too. I cannot believe he came down. I gotta give him some credit. I expected him to sit in his nice little palace the entire time and let the whole battle commence. But I'm kind of glad he came out and he's taking part He's taking part in all of this. Episode 171, let's run it. I don't think he's dead. He better not be dead. He shocked him, so his heart's like reset. I don't know how all that works. If only Chopper were here. Let's get the Dragon Balls, Usopp. <laughs> oh my gosh, he was listening to the wrong, the wrong side. 
<laughs> and then come back to life you never dead Gonfo has to be a little bit scared at least he is an intimidating guy oh that's a cool shot he's like sitting higher than him too brave Usopp very brave my 8,000 subordinates Ooh, that's a good deal in a room I would take that bro dog he's actually op he just teleport shocked him or he just moves so fast it looks like it i know those symbols the tome away they are like symbols for like lightning aren't they admittedly i know because of genshin impact i like the, how it's a whole like thing on his back too they killed sanji and usopp wait the men he captured are the soldiers now did he turn them into those those are the ones that are fighting right now, right? Bid you farewell. What will happen to the island? He said this before. Forcefully took this island away. Oh, the gold. Oh, so as soon as he heard that word gold, he was like, oh, I'll come down. Great relics of Shandora. So he's saying it's real. Or at least he's heard of it. But wouldn't he know if it was already here? Oh, that kind of makes sense. They wouldn't, yeah. Like why it's so special. The winner of this survival game. He sees it as like the Hunger Games, bro. <laughs> oh it's like embedded in his back oh my gosh and he sees all the fighting as the festival of the games that looks so painful <laughs> i get it because he's god dude actually teleports instant transmission what is this on god if that's sauntery i will throw hands oh my there's more of them i will oh. and luffy and wiper are fighting this is just disastrous honestly oh my goodness i love this game they're playing and i'm just shooting at him how much ammo does wiper have honestly is it the dial in there it's obviously starting to take somewhat of a toll on luffy oh maybe not yeah this is a pointless battle oh that is a dial right there okay new ammunition type he looks so confused. A smelly bullet? Gas is stored inside. Oh gosh, yeah, you can't bounce that off. Damn, it's a blue flame too. The hottest. Went right through that gigantic tree. Yeah. He's right behind you. Damn, what if Inaru walked up on this, man? I feel like Inaru could have dealt with Wiper and the Shanians whenever he wanted to, but maybe he just saw them as, like, not even power enough, full enough to even remotely come near him, so he didn't even bother. Okay, Luffy, stand your toes, baby! Oh, they matching each other's energy. I like him bouncing between the trees. It kind of reminded me of Bellamy in a weird way. I like flashbacks. Okay, this is a sick fight. I can actually get behind it. I don't want them to fight, but it's still a good fight. Damn. He's just talented. He's been fighting like this for years. He knows how to use them. But he's also probably been fighting against others that use the same sort of technology. So he's not used to someone like Luffy. Oh, they just traded. Damn, Luffy was like, I'm just going to take this. Oh, damn. A formidable opponent. He doesn't see him as just a regular old nuisance anymore. Come on, guys. Just get along. Nah, he's dead. Show's over. Go home. He's slowly walking up the street. Oh my. Is that the snake, bro? Uh, maybe the snake will bring them together. They have to fight it together. Oh. It ate him, didn't it? Oh my gosh. Did it swallow him? Maybe this is a good thing. And Wyvers is going to be like, oh, dang. Rip. That's what I'm saying, bro. You're using all this just on him when Inaru's your end goal. Well, he's a lot closer than you think. Not even at the shrine. 
I hope this doesn't end with Wiper just obliterating himself just to try to take down Enaru. A bad feeling it is though. Oh shoot. Let's go! Oh, Hell yeah! He took down like 10 of them. Not 10, maybe like six or seven. There's only 50 total. <laughs> just dodge. We're shooting like bowling balls. Oh no. Is it Enaru? Oh no! Oh, they're iron balls. How do you know about that? He's huge, bro! Come on, Genbu. You've taken out many, this is no different. Yama. Okay. Wow, I feel like it's gonna bounce off like Luffy. Oh. Oh my god! He clean with it! Okay, surely that like crushes all of his organs. Um, you saw that, right? He caught it, flipped it, and kicked it. A ball of iron. Isn't Robin nearby? These are the ruins. So is Chopper and the other priest. The next combo does not sound like it feels very good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my god! Uh, bro, cut him up and then just body slammed him with all of his weight. I don't think he's gonna make it out of this. I can't. I can't. I can't. I thought I would never have to hear that bastard sound again. Deputy Divine? That was their brother? Oh my god, they were triplets? Who is your mother? And curse her for bringing you into this world. Kotori. Kotori. So, oh yeah, that was that was Luffy and them. I mean, at least they're the younger siblings. Maybe they won't be as powerful. Dude, one was more than enough. This is just this is just too much, man. Let's go, Gunball. Let's go, baby. One swing. Don't even let them have a full episode, please. All right, Klima Takt, back in action. I'm actually proud of myself for remembering that name. Yeah, it's her turn too. The whole, a lot of this arc, or not just this arc, I mean, a lot of the last 15 episodes have been her and Chopper, both like I like trying to find their place, sort of. I hate them. I hate them so much. Take my hate, Nami. Fuel yourself. This, if this is this arc's like way of getting rid of Luffy so he's not able to keep just like fighting and whatnot, I'm gonna be pissed. He better not be in here for like 20 episodes. I know he's inside the snake. Oh, there's some some gold and treasure and whatnot. No, you're just in some random cave, actually. Wait, so Chopper just kept going and the priest, the priest actually was like, oh, it's just some random animal. Oh, no, wait, there he is. The raccoon dog? <laughs> I like how straightforward this guy is. How careless of me. Oh God, he's gonna recognize Chopper. That's the picture that Amazon took, bro. Oh my gosh. It actually comes back into the picture. It literally comes back into the picture. Chopper, just keep going, keep walking. Keep on walking, ain't no stopping. Yeah, Chopper, they're hiding underneath from you. Poor little fella. Aww. Chopper is standing right behind you. Bro is so outmatched here too. He doesn't know who he is though. He's got a stick. He's so brave. Wait, he actually rolled his eyes back up again. That's why he can't see Chopper. This concept, bro. Oh my gosh. Okay, so in these two episodes, we concluded two very sick fights, but I have to give the better fight actually to Zoro and Braum. Mostly just because I think Zoro was starting to feel himself outmatched and he had to once again adapt and adjust. And I think, I mean, I don't want to like dish on Luffy yet because we're only 171 episodes deep. It's funny to say only 171 episodes deep, but it feels like Zoro has had more moments in battle where he's kind of adapted, but I guess that's just who he is. That's not really Luffy. Luffy tries the same thing over and over and over again. And yeah, he like, he was like slinging around and whatnot, trying to get hits in. And they did trade a hit there at the end. But it feels like Zoro's arsenal here is, is more exciting for me personally to watch so far. Not to say that Luffy's fights aren't exciting to watch, not in the slightest, but I think they're done in a way where you can always tell a lot better of what's going on. And it's, it's just more fluid, I don't know. But thank goodness Luffy was split up from, from Wiper so that they don't have to fight or like dish it out even more. So that Wiper isn't in a terrible condition or Luffy. But I love that Inaru came down. I was kind of let down 
down that he wasn't going to be a part of all this, but he's joined the games himself. And I want to see that power firsthand. And it seems like we're going to. But guys, that's been it for episode 70, 170, 171 of our One Piece watch through. Do drop a sub on the channel if you are new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.